Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the products that I use on my hair. If you guys have been following me for a couple months now, you know that I chopped off all my hair. My hair used to be probably down to here and I was like, chop it off to here and I was like, no, go shorter. So I've kind of changed my hair routine and I wanted to share some of the products that I use now with you guys. So if you guys wanna keep watching this, please do. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. Only if you liked it. I mean, you don't have to give it a thumbs up if you don't like it. So I'll start with my shampoos and conditioners. Um, I used to have brown hair as well and I dyed my hair blonde. <laughs> right before um, I cut it all off. So I do have a lot of growth in here. I haven't gotten it colored since February, so I do need a touch up soon. Um, and I keep on just chopping off all of the good work that Ali Does Hair did. But um, I'm gonna show you um, some of the shampoos and conditioners that I use. I bought, it's a generic conditioning shampoo, and this is a purple shampoo. I only use this once a week. I've been using this. It's the Schwarzkopf Professional. I got a sample of this from one of my girlfriends. This is the Color Save Hair Therapy, and it's called the Bonacure. I've been using this every day for probably the past month, and I really do like it. I don't know if it's making a difference on my color, but whatever. I mean, it's better than herbal essences. That's what I was using before. So on the days that I do use this, I mix both of these together. So I know if I leave this on for too long, my hair turns silver and I don't like that. And then I use the Joico Color Balance in purple. I used the shampoo before I got this generic one. Um, and I, stop, hairspray. Um, I really did like the shampoo, but I ran out of it and I just bought the generic and the generic works perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I bought it at Cosmoprof. When I get out of the shower, I have been using this Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. And so I'll literally just put like a dime size on my hand, mix it all around, and then put it everywhere in my hair. And then I finish off and use it after my hair is all done. I kind of like go through the ends and add some shine to it. I have had this for a while, and look at how much I've used. Barely any. I mean, I know I don't have a lot of hair, but it still lasts a long time. <laughs> Another item that I like to use when my hair is wet as well is, is ADH Dry. This stuff is awesome. It has a matte finish and a very light hold. This is a pomade, and this is what it looks like. So I use this on the roots of my hair and then I blow dry it. The reason why I do that is because it adds a huge lift to my hair and I like that effect that it has. I also use this when I'm done styling my hair and I'll take like a tiny little bit, like this much, not a lot, rub it in my hands, put some on my roots as well, but then like finish my hair off in the ends. And so this stuff, is amazing. I already have it in my hair, so it's probably doing double the work that it needs to. My hair has a light hold, but it still stays in place. So this bang thing that you see there, that is with that stuff. It stays all day with just the ADH in it because I have it in the roots, so I kind of manipulated where I wanted it to go and then finish it off with it. I do use the ADH wet as well. This stuff I like using when I have a lot of curls in my hair. So when I do my hair and like the curls and have it be very voluminous, I like adding it in on the ends to add that texture and separation. I find that it works really well like that. I don't put it in my whole hair because it can look like a greasy mess. I mean, this pomade, <laughs> I mean, it's shiny, so I don't want that, but I do like the shine that it gives the ends. Now, I do hair, I do wedding hair, and I use like the most hold that a hairspray can use. So usually I use like Big Sexy or Kenra has a really good high hold hairspray. For myself, I don't like that because I like my hair to move. I found this stuff, and this is the Herbal Essences. This is the Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray and it's in the max, but I mean, you guys, this this is not max hold hairspray. We all know that, but this stuff is really good because it still keeps my hair where I want it to be, but I can still move it around to where it does that. So I do like using this after I use my ADH dry to add just an extra security, you know? 
When my hair is dirty, I use this Tresemme dry shampoo. I don't like using dry shampoos in the morning. Like when I style my hair, I like using dry shampoos at nighttime. So what I will do is I'll take the dry shampoo at night before I go to bed and I'll separate my hair, spray it on, and just let it absorb all the oils while I'm sleeping. I also am in love with this Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray. This stuff is really awesome. Um, I will spray this all over my hair. I do that before I curl it, and I don't use this while I straighten my hair. I only use it while I curl it, and so that adds like some grip for the curls to hold on to so they stay a little bit longer. I really, really like this stuff. Another thing that I use for volume at the root, or anytime I'm doing braids, I use the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. Now this stuff is awesome. So it literally is powder and then you just like dust it on your hair and you just rub it in like that and then it adds that lift that you want at your roots. So if I forget to put the ADH dry like on my roots or here's my issue with the powder play. I love it because it stays. I really do, but I don't like the way that it makes my hair feel. It kind of makes it feel sticky. I like running my hands through my hair all the time and I feel like when that's in it, I can't really move my hair and that bothers me. So I do tend to really like the ADH dry for that. I also use the ADH dry for braids too. I forgot to mention that, but I do. I use this for braids all the time. I, I like the both of them for that. I use them at the start of the braids and then um, that way the braids stay so you don't have like little fallout hairs everywhere. These little guys back here, they're probably bad because I've been like, <laughs> I had a problem with straightening the, those back there with my regular sized straightener. I have a croc straightener and it was just too big and it didn't get in there. So I use this to get those tiny little baby hairs back there that I need straightened. I straighten those every single day. I don't wear them curly. So I do like this little tiny strainer for that. I bought this off of Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description box below. I don't know what it's called. Another thing I use, if I want some extra volume, I use this as a teasing comb. I don't like those fluffy ones because it makes your hair super ratty. This puts the tease exactly where you want it. So I'll go down here and I'll usually take my alligator clip. Okay, I'm not gonna do a hair tutorial. I'm just gonna show you one little thing. And then I will tease it. <laughs> and I'll do layers upon layers upon layers so it does add more puffiness underneath there. So I use this all the time. I also use it for everything. This comb is my ride or die. I love this thing. Is there anything else? Did I talk about everything? I think I did. Those are my favorite products that I use for hair right now. I, I know it's a lot. <laughs> but it's what I use. I don't use every single one of them every single day, but I use the majority of them every single day. I do my hair, I know it's a lot, <laughs> but it's what I use. I don't use every single one of them every single day, but I use the majority of them every single day. I, I like doing my hair like all different ways all the time. I've, I've found that this hairstyle is very versatile. Like people think, oh, you do your hair the same way every day because the cut is, you know, it's one way, but I do my curls and my textures different all the time. I wear bangs sometimes, I put them back another. Like, there's so many ways to do it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a long video with a lot of products, but if you guys have any questions, make sure to put those in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.